just got my flash pro all plugged in air fuel display so right now basically like i was saying i'm on revision two so steve sent me a revision three last night he said the car is looking really good it's driving really good and uh, i haven't really took it I haven't really taken it to its fullest potential yet guys because I, like I said I was breaking in the clutch and I had to do a lot of other things and stuff like that it still needs a few things before it's I consider it you know perfect or whatnot car feels super super smooth really hope it does not rain today because I don't have my I'm sketched out to even go into to car washes with my cold air. I don't have my hydro shield yet, so hope we don't get caught in some like random rainstorm and I hit some type of puddle, you know what I mean? Also, I wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Steve at eTunes because basically hooked this whole setup up and he, he has everything running perfectly fine. Everything's running good. I had literally zero knock. So I want to give him a huge thanks because, you know, he's somebody who I can trust with my car for sure. Uh, one of my go-to guys, communication is there. Everything is on point. So shout out to you, Steve. I hope everything's going good up there in Canada, bro. Honestly, driving this thing like a granny right now. But whatever, people, whatever. We already have, I have a thousand miles on the swap thousand miles on the clutch so i mean no cels as of right now it just babying it until everything's perfected i'm mainly worried about i'm mainly worried about my alpha header hitting the frame when i get on it but i mean driving both driving the k20 and the k24 i <laughs> It's gonna be hard to say which which has the edge. I know it's gonna be a huge debate, guys. I know it's gonna be a big debate in the videos, but I mean, I gotta, t I gotta put it this way. This thing, in terms of a daily driver, the K24 owns the title right there. Like, but I'll see you guys in a minute here. I gotta stop an iced coffee because your boy is like half dead still. I'm like not a morning person at all, you know, and I woke up at eight o'clock this morning. It's kind of late for me. So I got to get a coffee, return that part, and then we're going to upload the uh, revision three. All right, guys, uploading the revision three right now and see. So VTEX at 4,200. We got, let's see, rev limiter is at 74, 75. We'll do 7,500 right now until the tune is done. 2500 Still battling the freaking EPS light All right, and then you guys can see right there obviously I'm definitely leaking coolant Out of this top hose right here cuz because of the pressure and stuff like that against the coupler so Definitely need to get a new hose. I'll have that in probably Napa will have it in tomorrow So I got to be careful driving this thing. I'm basically making sure that the resi has coolant in it all the time and I don't really want to get on it. So yeah, you guys could see we got the slate coolant leak It's not dripping on the ground though. I don't think which is definitely good. So aside from the coolant leak and all the stupid stuff I gotta tell you man Revision 3 feels amazing. The throttle is so smooth. Basically, whatever I miss here, if you guys want to see something specifically, drop your comment down below. If you want to see 0 to 60 pull, uh, you know, 60 to 100, whatever it is you want to see. But we're just going to chill, kind of casually get over there. Like I said, I got a nice, I got a mean coolant leak right now. So let's just go have a fun, fun time, guys. do a 
little, gotta do a little VTEC for you guys. gonna lie to you guys the hardest thing that i had to deal with with this swap and the thing i've been working on the most is the uh the coolant problems so i had a coolant leak from right here and i had to use that's because i reused an old hose so i literally had to use a, uh, a heavy duty or clamp so i ended up stopping that and then i had a problem right here so what i'm gonna do when i get the new hose that'll hopefully eliminate basically all the problems that i have and I'll have a solid probably maybe inch or two clearance from this coupler right here. So, yeah, I'm going to have to wait to go to Napa tomorrow. They ordered me the hose. I don't know how much it's going to be. But, uh, yeah, wish me luck, guys. I'm going to go out and data log right now for a little while so I can send a revision. Don't mind me. I'm trying to tighten this clamp. But I'm going to data log for a bit. Um, don't worry. I'll have polls for you guys soon. Tomorrow I'll have that Gates coolant hose on there and I'm still battling the EPS light. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I will, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Definitely drop everything you wanna see down below. I, I've heard somebody say they wanna see a top speed run with the 24. Uh, a lot of you guys wanna see all kinds of different stuff. So feel free to comment down below, guys. Be sure to subscribe for more content and give me a like if you like the build, if you like the car, all that jazz, the channel, whatever, you know what to do. traffic like I said dude stay home people Gerb got data logging to do need you getting in the way Let's go 